Even at GCSE, physics can seem like a daunting subject with so many equations, mathematical types of questions, and experiments to keep track of. But keep watching this video to see how to get a grade 9 and top marks in your exam. And even if you're not in year 11, watch this video and start early. The first tip I have for you guys is to learn all your formulae and write it down. In the 2023 exams, I know you do get an equation sheet, but for all future exams and just for like good practice, write down your formulae and remember what part of the equation is which, where how to rearrange the equation and the units for each part because these things are really important and help you get through the questions faster and not spend so much time on the easier equation type questions and also just knowing the units and how to convert in and out is really useful and it helps make sure that you don't lose that one extra mark just for forgetting the units or whatever so yeah first tip is write down all your formulae and memorize the top key ones that you don't remember as well so tip number two is know your practicals one thing i did it for gcse physics is for every practical we did across all the topics i made like a five ten line summary summarizing them talking about the dependent independent and extra dependent variables how to improve them and just things like that that i knew would come up as questions and this really helped me out i know in the practical sections i was much more confident than i'd ever been for my gcse mocks and it was really useful to do so because summarizing them allows you to answer the questions much quicker and in a more concise format as well. And knowing how to improve the experience are vital because there's always gonna be a question on one paper talking about how to improve one type of practical with different variables. So number three is use your specification. If you're in year 11 and don't use your specification for revision, then if you start doing so, that's one way you'll see an instant improvement in your grades. Specifications are literally detailed bullet point checklists that allow you to see what is really important in the exam and what things will definitely come up. So you revise what's more important to the exam rather than what you think may be more important. And specifications are a great way of working out what things you need to improve on and in which priority. Because what I recommend is go through your specification after printing it out and the topics you've done already and just go through and mark them with three different color highlighters, pens or whatever, uh, ordering them in terms of priority and how to revise them. And this is something that's really useful for you and will definitely help you get much better grades in GCSE physics. So tip number four I have for you guys is to learn your definitions. Definitions will 100% be on a paper whether it'll be a two marker, three marker, or sometimes even a four marker. And it's something you definitely have to know to do amazingly well in your GCSE physics exam. One way to memorize definitions is organize them by key topic. And for each topic, there should be at least three key or two key definitions that you should know very well. And they may come up as part of your exam. For example, you might need to know the law of reflection, the rule of moments, or just Newton's third law. And these things that you often need to be able to quote off by heart and give a perfect answer to get all two or three marks. So yeah, that's tip number four. Memorize your definitions and know them inside out for grade nine. Tip number five is to use the correct resources. So for example, if you're in year 11 and you haven't made many notes in year nine and 10 and haven't really been buckling down and starting your GCSE course off well, don't worry. You can always make up for this by going over on say my exams or physics and maths tutor and just checking out the detailed specification related notes they have there. Often they'll definitely have it for your course. For example, they have Edexcel, AQA, OCR, and many more different types of exam boards. So that's for when, if you haven't really made notes before that are really good at detailed. So now in this section, we'll move on to more miscellaneous advice. So the first real miscellaneous advice thing is if you want to make revision resources, start making them now. Don't wait until it's too late to make them. For example, in year 10, what I did is I started making them in the summer of year 10. So I had done that for every single important like flashcard related topic, such as math, and the sciences and it was really useful because I didn't have to make the revision resources in year 11 but let's say you're in year 11 and you haven't made those important revision resources start trying to make them now for example even if they're mind maps mind maps really help with just knowing key information or even if you don't use mind maps try and do what I was talking about with summarizing the practical or learning key definitions and make revision resources for them if you can right now and yeah if you're not doing past papers for GCSE what are you doing past papers are literally the best way to ensure you get a grade 9 and the best way and best place to find them is physics and maths tutor in for me or save my exams both sites are great and they'll definitely help you get at least a grade 8 if not a grade 9. Like I've said in past videos YouTube is literally your friend when it comes to GCSE and a level gcse especially gcse physics and stuff there's so many different resources out there in terms of youtube and for example free science lessons is a great video or cognito they're great youtube channels to be able to check out 
how to do GCSE physics revision and certain topics that you find hard. And they're much more interactive. For example, you listen and then you do questions and they're just amazing to do compared to rather than just reading the textbook to try and learn some things you're finding harder. Definitely, definitely, definitely check out YouTube videos online such as free sciences and lessons or Cognito. And I'll link more resources and YouTube channels down in the description below. So overall, this was a bit of a quick video, but I don't want to keep boring you with the details of how to get a GCSE grade nine in physics. Overall, I really hope you just enjoyed this video, found it useful in a short and concise format. And if you did, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to support the channel and just to continue uh, allowing me to make more of these videos in the future. This is just the start of my how to get a grade nine in this subject video series. So if you guys do enjoy this, let me know and I'll start making them for other subjects such as maths, English, chemistry, biology, etc. Yeah, if you have any more questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer them. And thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys hopefully next week with a brand new video. Bye for now.